holy calamity, scream insanity. Hopefully, you're going to be another big fan of me. Break. Check it out. I'm Toy Insanity. This is Scream Insanity 2. And today, we're going to look at Animal Scream Gashapon figures from Epoch. It looks like you'd pronounce it Epoch, but I think technically, it's just pronounced Epic. What's up with that? All right. These are going to be some cool parody figures based on Edward Monk's 1893 painting, The Scream. We call it The Scream, but the full title is The Scream of Nature. Set of five from Japan. Gashapon capsule toys. Check out Scream Insanity 1. We featured this guy. <laughs> let's let's get let's hear it one time. <laughs> but I also talk a lot about the history of the painting and the meaning and the representation that is that we come to know it for in the modern day. Okay, let's get into it. Set of five. They're very cute, very cool. First up, <laughs> a gorilla. These are non-articulated capsule toys. <laughs> Love this painting. Favorite painting of all time. And I'm collecting a variety of figural and toyetic representations of the screen. This is another charismatic megafauna. A sloth. Yep, a three-toed sloth. <laughs> oh man set of five next up I'll show you the cat kind of just looks like a house cat <laughs> okay then we have super tiny figure Aww. I think it's a guinea pig, but maybe it's a hamster. What do I even know? <laughs> and the fifth and final figure in the Gashapon capsule set from Epic from Japan is an otter. <laughs> And uh, let's look, look at this little image. Okay, so you got the gorilla there, and then it has it shows the otter in the water. Kind of a bizarre figure, <laughs> being horizontally oriented. Scream insanity. Animal Scream, set of five. Come on. <laughs> All right, that's better. Very cool, very cute. Which one's your favorite? My favorite is the gorilla. Second favorite. I'm going to go with the cat. Third, I will go with the tiny guinea pig. Fourth is the sloth. And fifth for me would be that otter. Is it a sea otter? Is it a river otter? It's probably a sea otter because that's, a, that's the fjord in Norway where Edward Monk had the experience of hearing the scream of nature. Will they do a series too? A lot of time, epic figures and various Japanese Gashapon figures, they'll do five in the series one, and then for some reason they do six in the series two. 
And if they do a Series 3, it's not like they just keep increasing it by one. The Series 3 would also be six. But these just came out 2019, I believe. And uh, we have not seen a Series 2. But I was thinking, what animals do I want to see a Series <laughs> You know me, I probably want to see some kind of insect. You really need a forward-facing face to pull off the scream look. So it would have to be some kind of like rhino beetle or something. But definitely you could get a, a, a beetle up on his hind legs. And then put his front two legs up on his cheeks like that. Up on his head. Oh, a spider. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, yeah. One of those cute jumping spiders. Yeah, I need, I need some kind of invertebrate in this set. But you see, they're kind of doing the scale, so... That probably wouldn't work because <laughs> a beetle or a spider would be tiny. We need a we need a big predator, a lion or a tiger for sure. Maybe something like, you know, the screaming goats. Goats really don't have forward facing eyes though. Could we do a goat? Could we do a moose? I don't know. I don't know. I say we abandon abandon uh the sense of scale. I mean, look, the gorilla is only twice as big as the, the hamster or the guinea pig. In real life, you know that's much different. What else would be cool? Oh, an alligator. I want to see an alligator up on his hind legs. Yeah, maybe some kind of bird. A goose. A goose or a flamingo. You got, you got the wings coming up, uh, doing the screen face. All right, will you let me know what animals you want to see, and I'll, I'll be sure to pass it along. I'll get in touch with the designers at Epic. They're in Tokyo. We'll make it happen. All right. Goodbye. Toy Insanity. Thumbs up. Goodbye.